Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to install Android 9.0 Pyroms on your Xiaomi Mi 8. There are certain procedures you must follow to get it booting. Otherwise, you may end up spending two days like I did um, to install this ROM or maybe even more. There's a lot of instruction on XDA, but I actually found one of them to actually work. And you do have to use a special version of Twerp. Otherwise, it will just not boot. So let me go ahead and point out some of the files that you will need for this. First one is my UI Mi Global 8.10.25. You'll need this particular firmware, the global version, and you'll have to use Twerp to install it. And make sure you have an unlock bootloader because if you don't have unlock bootloader and you try to flash this using the system, you will break your phone. So make sure you have an unlock bootloader with Torp Recovery installed. I do have full instructions on that. Go ahead and follow my universal guide for all Xiaomi devices, which I use to unlock the bootloader and install Torp Recovery on my Mi 8. As far as using the Torp version, don't use the version from um, Torp.me. I'll have a link to the actual recovery that I use. So go ahead and use that. Once you have unlocked the bootloader, install Torp Recovery. Also, you'll want to download the actual ROM, which is Lineage 16.0, blah, blah, drip dipper.zip. Also, if you want root, make sure you have Magisk v17.3. And also you'll need the Magisk Manager APK file. And also you'll need gapps. You can go ahead and use the bit gapps. I'll have a link to all these files. Make sure you have it on your phone, download it on your phone, download it on your computer, and then transfer over to your phone if you want. All right, once you have all those files downloaded, go ahead and power off your phone. And we're gonna go ahead and boot into Twerp. Go ahead and hold down volume up and power for about a few seconds. All right, wait about one, two. I let go when you see the team win. Next, what you're gonna do, if you do wanna go back to MIUI, you'll wanna make a backup. All right, so make a backup um, so you can restore it later if you want. All right, next you're gonna go ahead and do wipe and swipe to factory reset after you make a backup. All right, go back home and next you're gonna go ahead and install um, the actual firmware, the MIUI Mi Global 8.10. Now make sure this file is 1.6 giga gigabytes. There is another file on the ROM XDA page that's 400 megabytes. That's just the update, but this is the full firmware. Make sure you install the full firmware. Otherwise you may end up in a boot loop, which happened to me. So go ahead and install the full firmware using Torp Recovery. And this is for all the Android 9.0 Pi ROMs. I'm just using Lineage ROM as an example. But if you want to install any kind of um, Android 9.0 Pi ROMs on your Mi 8, uh, make sure you flash the Mi Global 8.1.10.25. Uh, make sure you boot into system. Just skip all the welcome stuff. And then you're going to reinstall Torp Recovery. And then you're going to boot back into Torp Recovery. And then you're going to do the standard install. I'm um, just a factory reset, install ROM, install GApps, install Magisk if you want, and then reboot. All right, that particular process um, just took me a ton of time to figure out. Um, so hit the thumbs up for me as I spend a ton of time trying to figure this out by trial and error and, you know, reading <laughs> everything on XDA. But um, a lot of those tutorials are not documented well. It's starting to get documented a little bit better. But yeah, this is a, like a fail proof method. All right, when that's done, simply reboot system. Choose do not install. All right, you do have to boot it. If you don't boot it uh, first, you'll, your camera might not work. You might end up in a boot loop. Um, so that's why you gotta boot into it. And then you can go ahead and install your ROM, G apps, all that good stuff. All right, MUI 10 um, should boot. All right, you can go just go ahead and skip through all this because you're going to install ROM over it anyways. All right, don't set a password or fingerprint because that will encrypt your device and you'll have trouble. So just turn off all security. All right, don't use any security. All right, you don't need it because you're going to flash over ROM anyways. It's just going to interfere. All right, just skip it. See that? Just skip it. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is check the camera. Just open it, make sure it works. And it's working fine. Front camera working fine, hello. Uh, once that's done, we're gonna go ahead and reinstall Torp Recovery. Um, so go ahead and power off. You lost your Torp Recovery when you install that global ROM. So what you're gonna do is go ahead and volume down and power. 
of course, you will need a computer. Sorry, if I didn't tell you this before. Put it into Fastboot and go, go ahead and connect it to your computer. You'll need to download um, Fastboot.zip if you don't have it already. If you follow my instructions uh, for unlocking the bootloader, you should already have it. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and download it because this is my other computer. All right, once downloaded, just go ahead and unzip all the files, extract all into fastboot folder. All right, next, go ahead and download the um, the special recovery, all right, .img. Make sure you go ahead and download it. And go ahead and copy the recovery image. Do, it, do a copy, right-click copy. And copy it into your fastboot folder that you unzip to, paste. I already pasted in there, so you'll see recovery file there. Also, make sure you have proper drivers installed. Um, you can go into your device manager, and and you may have to reboot your phone. Uh, my mine just powered off, so make sure it's in fast boot mode. So I'm gonna reconnect it. Sometimes it just powers off by itself. Um, you should see something. If you don't see it, go and download the universal ADB drivers. And this is a new computer that I've never used with. Download the universal ADB driver setup program. And I'm gonna go ahead and download this. And go ahead and run it. All right. Um, so I'm gonna actually go ahead and unplug my phone. Power and volume down, put it back into Fastboot. And it should recognize ADB. Oh, sorry. I don't have my USB connected. Idiots. USB cables unconnected. All right, you may see an Android with exclamation mark. Uh, and yeah, now it says device is working properly. So you usually see Android bootloader interface or Android ADB or some kind of bootloader interface. So as long as you see that, you're ready to go. Go ahead and hit the start key and type CMD on your Windows computer. If you're, um, you can also use Mac or Linux. You don't need to install the drivers. I'll put the commands you gotta type um, for Mac or Linux, go ahead and type CD downloads, downloads, go ahead and type CD fastboot, and go ahead and type fastboot, uh, flash, space, flash, space, recovery, space, recovery, dot IMG. All right, just like that. And it should say, okay, okay. And we don't need our computer anymore. And that's just the process we had to do. All right, to get out of fastboot, um, you have to reset your phone, which is volume down and power. And as soon as the screen goes off, you're going to hold down volume up and power like that. All right, hold it for one, two. And you'll back, be back in Torp. Oops. Torp recovery. All right. Next, you're going to just do a standard install ROM. Go ahead and do a wipe. Factory reset. Hit the home button. Install. Um, go ahead and find your ROM file. For this example, I'm going to be using lineage 16.dipper.zip. Now, if you're using a GSI, I haven't actually got it to work on GSI, but this is a point where you can go ahead and use the install image and install the system image. All right, but I'm going to go ahead and install the ROM here. And for GSI, after you install the system image, you'll have to reboot recovery before you install a kernel or anything else because there will be no system when you first install it. But if you're installing a zip file like I am, just a regular ROM zip file, <clears throat> you can just go ahead and install it like this. Now, don't worry about the OnePlus 6 thing. Um, the developer probably was um, getting this off of OnePlus 6 and editing it to make it work with the Mi 8. Um, forgot to take this out, but yeah, this is actually for the Mi 8. All right, once that's done, you're gonna hit the home button, go to install and find your G apps. Um, I do recommend using BitG apps, all right? That'll work off for all kinds of uh, PyROMs. Hit the back button. If you want root, install Majisk. All right. And you're gonna go ahead and reboot after this and you should be good to go. Now, some ROMs do not boot if you don't install Majisk, especially the GSIs. So I actually do recommend to install Majisk. Go ahead and reboot system, hit do not install. And your ROM should boot within a few minutes here. All 
All right, now you're booted. Hit next. 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 Go ahead and... Um, let me go ahead and skip this. All right, um, you can also use dual sim if you want, which is great. And you can see um, my 4GLT should be working. Sometimes you may have to set APN manually, which is very easy. I do have a tutorial guide on that. I'll put that right here. If I forget, just leave in the comments. Sometimes I forget to put the thing in there. But... All right, and you can see I have Buddha here. And boom shakalaka. I have Android 9.0 ROM uh, running fully here. All right, you can see Android 9. I got two SIM slots. And if you're not getting data, um, that's most likely due to APN. So go into your network, go into your mobile network, and go into advanced, oh, and go down to access point names. And it should actually download all the access point names. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose the first one, which is the one for AT&T. But if you don't see your own, um, go ahead and hit the plus key and add your APN and you'll get 4GLT. So it should take a few seconds here before it picks up AT&T, but yeah, everything is working here. Now you won't see Magisk Manager sometimes. If you don't see Magisk Manager, go ahead and download the APK file um, and install the APK file manually. And you can see that uh, Magisk Manager, Manager, I've installed it. And now you'll see 17.3. Let's go back here. Let's try toggling off and on. And just double check your access point name is not right. Yeah, it will pop on there eventually. Sometimes you may have to reboot. So we're gonna go ahead and just let it reboot. And it could be because I'm getting very bad at and signals here. And you can see now I'm finally picking up HSPA plus. All right, it will turn into 4GLT. Um, but yeah, that's how you install it and your Magisk should be fully working. I'm gonna actually put it on Wi-Fi for now. And you can go ahead and update to the latest, latest version. Um, if you do have the older Magisk manager. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the new version. And for Lineage OS 16 that I'm using here, it does pass real nicely. All right, and that's pretty much it. And now you can enjoy Lineage OS working flawless on your Xiaomi Mi 8 or any other ROM you want to install. Just go ahead and follow this tutorial. Make sure you go ahead and start with the MUI Global ROM. <clears throat> Make sure you just follow the steps, but just go ahead and use the different ROM files. I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get any of the GSI ROMs booted, but I haven't been able to get them booted. It could be some kind of compatibility issues. Um, so I'm trying to, trying to figure that out. But let's say if we got 4GLT and boom, um, you can see I'm getting no bars. So that's why 4GLT just took forever to get. Yeah, but hit the thumbs up. And this is my second channel. Uh, all of my main videos are over at Max Lee, but this is my second channel. So subscribe to both. And I'll see you guys soon as always. Stay on Android. Click here to subscribe.